Welcome back to Learn JavaScript on Code Academy. We're in the Advanced Objects section. This is Arrow Functions and This. We saw in the previous exercise that for a method, the calling object is the object the method belongs to. If we use the this keyword in the method, then the value of this is the calling object. However, it becomes a bit more complicated when we start using arrow functions for methods. Take a look at the example below. We have our good old const goat object here. Diet type, make sound, diet, and all the same keys from the last exercise. Here we have goat.diet, but it prints undefined. And if you see here, we are using arrow function instead of the anonymous function. In the comment, you can see that goat.diet would log undefined. So what happened? Notice that the dot .diet method is defined using an arrow function. Arrow functions inherently bind or tie an already defined this value to the function itself that is not the calling object. In the code snippet above, the value of this is the global object or an object that exists in the global scope, which doesn't have a diet type property and therefore returns undefined. To read more about either arrow functions or the global object, check out the MDN documentation of the global object and arrow functions. The key takeaway from the example above is to avoid using arrow functions when using this in a method. Instructions say currently the dot check energy method is not producing the correct output because it is using arrow function syntax. Refactor or change the method to use a function expression. You can write the function using either longhand or shorthand format. After refactoring the method, notice that dot check energy has access to the other internal properties of the robot object. So let's zoom out and take a look at that. Right now, if I run this, it should give us an error or undefined because they're using arrow function syntax. Let's do it. So we still haven't passed it and it's showing undefined here. If we change it or refactor it, we should fix the error go here and do that now. That should fix it, run it now. We do pass and we get that 100%. So the main thing that we're learning here is how arrow functions and this react to each other. And as it said down here, arrow functions bind or tie an already defined this value. That makes the value of this a global object, which exists in the global scope. And it doesn't have the property we're trying to access and therefore returns undefined. For this reason, you should use an anonymous function whenever you're going to use this inside of a method. As long as you guys are understanding that, you're getting this lesson. And I'll see you in the next one.